Are you tired of paying ten, fifteen dollars for a bag of potato chips? I'm sick of it. I'm doing my own. So what I did, I got some some potatoes from the store. And I'm gonna try. I got myself a new chip maker. My wife bought me this for birthday. And I'm gonna try this here and see what happens. So let's just try this thing. It's called a it's called a chip shop. I don't know how old it is, but I think it goes back into the 90s, but it was brand new. Anyway, that's kind of cool. Let's check it out. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to stick a potato in here and I'm with the whole potato, skin and all. Because I think the skin is the best part of it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make ruffled potato chips. And it's only going to cost 50 cents a pound. That's after you have this. No, I'm not trying to sell this. I just bought this. I'm not trying to sell the chip stuff. You're going to love this, though. This is cool. All right. We've got the potato in there. We've got it plugged in. kind of helps. What we're going to do, we're going to put the potato in cold water. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. Watch how fast you can get one potato through here and make chips. Ready? Here we go. One. We got switch isn't working the right. There we go. about seven or eight potatoes up for my last count. What we're going to do, we're going to leave them in this cold water. You can see the water is getting cloudier. It's getting cloudier because of the starch that's in the potatoes. You want to get that starch out of the potatoes because that keeps them from sticking when you, when you get them in the fryer. If you see how cloudy that is, well, anyway, it is cloudy. So what we're going to do, and have more water, is thoroughly want to rinse this out, and then we can let this set for a while. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to lay them out on a piece of some sort of cloth, paper towels, or whatever else I can find around here to lay it on maybe even a, a dish towel or something. So for now, we're gonna let this soak for about five minutes and then we're gonna set our deep fryer at probably about 315, 325, somewhere around there. And I wanna cook them real fast. But anyway, we're gonna let them soak in here until the starch is released from the potatoes. 